Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Pastor Ayodeji and my wonderful sister, Pastor Yemi, for lending to the Lord, for giving yourselves to the Lord and for making yourselves available for such a time as this. At the center of the heart of God is children. God cares about children. God is passionate about how each child turns out because they are the generation. Every child is the next army that the Lord is building to continue his work upon this earth. And so it's great. It's a great honor to be here to pray, uh, pray for children, to join in this vision, to sow a seed, the word that goes out there for every child at such a time as this. Thank you. So wherever you are, can you please quickly open your Bible to the book of Psalm 127, Psalm 127 and verse 3. It's a common scripture and it says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. You know, every time we come together to say we want to pray for children, the very first default thought process for anyone will be about their biological children. But if you don't have a child yet, um, this prayer concerns you as well, because I'm sure you have nieces and nephews and cousins who are children who are growing up and you desire to see great things happen in their lives. And as well as your own seeds, whether you have them now, you're trusting God to bring them forth in the future, in the nearest time to come, you can definitely sow these seeds and words of prayer that has been ongoing and will continue for the next 60 days. And so this day we are going to be praying that Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your throne by bringing every child before your presence. You said children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. They belong to you. And so we rededicate them today and we bring them back to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, every child, every cousin, every niece, and it's okay to say my children, it's okay to say my cousins, my nephews, my children that are coming in the future, my children that are coming now or right now as they exist. I bring them before the Lord. I bring them before your presence in the name of Jesus. We rededicate them again back to you in the name of Jesus. We pray that these words is a chartered course to bring them back to the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we bring every ch child back to your presence. In the name of Jesus, say with me, according to your word, which declares that children are heritage of the Lord. Therefore, I declare over every child, I declare over my children, let the name of the Lord be their strong tower. For every child in distress, let the name of the Lord be their strong tower. In the name of Jesus, according to your word, that children are the heritage from the Lord, I declare today that in the name of Jesus, over my children, over the children that you have, that you have given to me, whether biologically or by relationship of every kind, or every child in the world, in the name of Jesus, we pray, let the name of the Lord be their strong tower. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray today, let every child find refuge in God, no matter where they go, no matter how high they rise, no matter the experiences in life, we decree in the name of Jesus, let the name of the Lord be their strong tower. In the name of Jesus, let them find refuge in God. No matter how far they go, they come back to their root. In the name of Jesus, these prayers today, they serve as a direction. They serve as a directive. They serve as a command. They begin the journey of every child that has gone far from God, that they begun, they begin to retrace their steps. They become, they return to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that every day of their lives that they find the name of the Lord as their strong tower. In the name of Jesus, pray with me today. 
say the powers of darkness cannot harm any child that belongs to me the powers of darkness cannot harm my child because they have made the, the name of the lord their strong tower in the name of jesus at no point in their lives shall they forget that they belong to god shall they forget that they are the heritage of the lord in the name of jesus because of the heritage no power of darkness can harm my children no power of darkness can harm my cousins no power of darkness can harm my nieces no power of darkness can harm my nephews in the name of jesus no power of darkness will have power over the children that i am going to bring forth in the name of jesus lord we declare that the strategies of the devil cannot snare them in the name of jesus that the strategies of the strategies of the enemy shall not snare them in the name of jesus because they are the heritage from the lord in the name of jesus say with me the scripture says that the fruit of the womb is the reward from the lord the fruit of the womb is the reward from the lord therefore father i declare with an understanding and a revelation that my children are not instruments of affliction in the name of jesus i declare with understanding from that scripture that my children are not instruments of affliction and torment to me and the family the word of god says in the book of james chapter 1 verse 17 it says every good and perfect gift comes from the father every good and perfect gift comes from the father with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning is not subject to change and because we know that every child no matter the circumstance of their birth they are a gift from god they are a reward from the lord in the name of jesus therefore we say together from that understanding in the name of jesus that every child upon the face of the earth especially in our homes the ones that come as nephews the ones that come as nieces the ones that come from one relationship or another we declare over them today that there will not be instruments of affliction in the name of jesus neither to me nor to everyone that they are connected to there will not be instruments of torment and affliction to the family in the name of jesus rather they are a reward from the lord in the name of jesus every child that the lord has blessed us with they are a reward from the lord in the name of jesus you know the scripture says again that my children shall your children shall be taught of the lord and great shall be their peace is it not interesting to see that that verse of the scripture says great shall be their peace because when a child is peaceful when a child enjoys peace it transcends into the family when a child is not well everyone is not okay in that house so this today it's the same way that they're pray, we're praying that lord you will teach every child that has come through me that will come through me connected to me my family that is related to me including the ones across the globe they will be taught of the lord and great shall be their peace in the name of jesus my children shall be taught of the lord and they will be at peace in the name of jesus they will be at peace in the name of jesus in their rising in their sitting in their laying down when they turn around wherever they go in the name of jesus they will be taught of the lord and great shall be their peace in the name of jesus Pray with me again. Say we break the stronghold of strange influences over these children. Whether they come as teachers, whether they come as friends. In the name of Jesus, only the knowledge of God is permitted to be retained in their memory and in their hearts. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever it is that is not a part of the plan of God for every child as they go to school, as they come back to, from home, as they interact with friends. In the name of Jesus, 
we break the stronghold the strange influences over these children they will not hear the voice of the hireling in the name of jesus they will not hear the voice of the hireling through friends through teachers through classmates every interaction that they have even with the media they will not hear the voice of the hireling in the name of jesus my children your children our children shall be thought of the lord and great shall be their peace in the name of jesus glory to god is somebody praying today is someone praying in this session is somebody praying in this session don't give up sow these seeds even for your children to come if you don't have any so this prayer is all encompassing these 60 days is not only for children that we begat not only children that came from your bosom or children that dwell within your household you pray with passion for every child because they are the army that the lord is setting for the next generation and so everything about them must be all right they must regain their source they must regain the knowledge about their roots in the name of jesus pray with me that there shall be a blessing <laughs> there will be a blessing to me in the name of jesus there will be a blessing to the family in the name of jesus there will be a blessing to the society at large we no longer give permission for any child to be a trouble to be a tyrant to experience tyranny in the name of jesus to the society in the name of jesus lord we pray that these children are a blessing to me these children are a blessing to the family these children are a blessing to the society in the name of jesus in the places where the crime rates have gone up it's usually with children or we all are found with all kinds of atrocities children are the ones committing all kinds of things children who are still used to be considered underage are doing things that are not necessarily within their age range it's the enemy at work and so we are waging war against every atrocity of the enemy over the lives of these children in the name of jesus said there will be a blessing to me there will be a blessing to my family there will be a blessing to my society every child there is not we cancel tyranny from their lives in the name of jesus every child that the lord has given to me whether you are a children's church teacher whether you encounter them in school in the name of jesus we break the hold of tyranny over their lives in the name of jesus we speak blessings to them we speak blessings to them and so we decree that they exude a blessed life the blessing the the, re the reflection the radiance the glory that comes with a blessed life we speak it into them in the name of Jesus. They are a blessing to us. They are a blessing to me. So they are a blessing to the family. They are a blessing to the society. For the word of the Lord says, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. Every child we decree over them that this is the Lord's doing. It is okay to call their names at this point. Over this child, I decree in the name of Jesus. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in my sight. Every day of their life, they will be marvelous. They exude everything that can be called marvelous in the name of Jesus. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, my children, your children, every child connected to me, Say every child connected to me. Say every child even connected to you. In the name of Jesus. There will be marvelous rewards. In the name of Jesus. There will be marvelous rewards. In the name of Jesus. There will be marvelous rewards. And divine instruments. There will be marvelous rewards. And divine instruments. In the name of Jesus. Instruments of healing. Begin to pronounce what you want over these children. Instruments of peace. Instruments of healing. Instruments of consolation. And everything that can be tagged marvelous. They exude such. They begin to reflect such. In the name of Jesus. They begin to reflect such. To me. Say to me. To my family. And to the society. In the name of Jesus. Is someone praying? Is someone praying? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say, Father, 
I speak through the authority of your word <laughs> that my children are instruments of glory. They are instruments of hope. They are reward of hope and honor. In the name of Jesus, say with me that my children are instruments of glory. In the name of Jesus, they are instruments of glory. They are instruments of glory. They are instruments of peace. In the name of Jesus, say their reward of hope and honor. Every child, this child that the Lord has given to me, these children that the Lord has blessed me with, Lord, in the name of Jesus, whether I plant for them or not, God has a purpose for every child, whether they came through natural birth or not, in the name of Jesus. No child is invalid before God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we declare that they are instruments of glory. We declare that they are reward of hope and honor. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Quickly, as we come to a very conclusive, a beautiful and wonderful conclusive end of this session, say with me, Lord, I stand and I raise a standard against the force of deception and compromise in the name of Jesus that may stage in like a flood. Remember the word of God says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord himself will raise a standard against them. Therefore, because you are the voice that gives power to the word of God, Therefore, because you are the voice that gives instruction to things that will happen upon the earth, because the word of God says the earth, even the earth, as it given to the children of men. So whatsoever you agree with in the scripture is agreed with in heaven. Therefore, you will say, Lord, I raise a standard against the force of deception. And you know what will happen? The angels assigned to each one of these children will begin to raise a standard against the force of deception in the name of jesus every manipulation of the enemy that is bringing strange doctrines to what children would naturally love children love the color of the rainbow and it is becoming manipulated we raise a standard against the deception of the enemy in the name of jesus we raise a standard against every compromise that may stage itself like a flood against our sons and daughters in the name of jesus lord we decree we raise a standard against the force of deception that may come in in the name of jesus as a flood against our sons and daughters in the name of jesus i stand with the word of god to avert and oppose such powers over their lives i stand in agreement with the word of god to avert and oppose such powers over their lives in the name of Jesus. I stand with the word of God and I avert and oppose such powers over their lives in the name of Jesus, over their ways in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare this. Father, we stand against every force of deception and compromise which may stage in like a flood against our sons and daughters against every seed that the lord has blessed us with we raise a standard against them in the name of jesus we frustrate the counsel of the eden we shatter the devices of the wicked we said they lose their hold over every child that the lord has blessed us with in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father Glory and honor and adoration be unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.